All right, uh, for the YouTube audience. This doesn't look like Jump King. Because I'm editing the podcast while we're playing Jump King. I'm listening. Basically, another editor did the bulk of the work, and I'm just listening over it to make sure everything's fine, making small adjustments on the way. Toronto Film Festival is happening. It's a hybrid virtual and in-person festival. I'm doing it virtually because I didn't want to make plans to travel to Toronto however many months ago when I didn't know what the COVID situation was going to be like. Uh, I've watched, like, I don't know, 14 films or something already. It's been only, like, two and a half days. Uh, my parents are visiting from out of town. They're out of the house right now. I got time to do my Sunday stream, or at least as part of it, while we play Jump King. Um, we can multitask, and that's the plan. Um, I guess maybe I'll leave Jump King. I don't know if I want to leave it muted. It's probably, if I'm listening to the podcast, I probably should leave it muted. And we'll see how much progress I make. I don't know if I'll be missing out on um, some epic, amazing music or anything. I might just accidentally fuck up and go all the way back to the beginning right away because I haven't played this in uh, a week. So I'm going to have to get used to the controls again. And uh, let's let's do it. And I will um, just make some space here so that I have my regular keyboard thing available and that and then uh good. nice i'm adam um, your movie sucks uh, it's sardonic cast i'm ralph from ralph and i'm alex from hg and i, I actually got that one because we... i usually use this laptop for chat why don't i have i can do t i can i can do i can do half window fcp and then half window of chat that's what I'm going to do. I just realized that, um, yeah. All right, hold on, hold on. We're almost uh, almost here. All right. Cool. Now I can see chat. And we have to, I have to address this from a couple episodes ago. To yeah. The intro you did. Uh, oh. <laughs> the uh, all sorry. three hot coffee pot thing. <laughs> I mean, I'm not the most familiar with M&M, so that did... Although I had seen that video, it was not in the back oh, of my yeah. mind, so I just believed it was from Venom. Yeah. Cool. Well, okay. So when when you imagined that it was from Venom, what was the kind? Like, did you have a did you have an imagination? I figured of, like, it was the in the Eminem song. Oh, okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. How am I supposed to get anywhere from song, here? Like one of the bars or some shit, because <laughs> it's kind of that level. But no, it's like wasn't it like a it was like a Trump thing he did? Yeah. That was like really cringy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was like a really weird, <laughs> quote unquote, freestyle. That he did in like a parking uh, yeah. garage. I didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. How do I get anywhere from here? Uh -huh. We might talk about Bob Burnham's I inside also look at some at, point. Uh, there isn't really that much to say about it. I just kind of wanted to steal an intro for it. I should look at how the two of us are. have seen it. I'm assuming we I both feel like, like the it. audio. I don't know. Is what probably, what, uh, what yeah, more can amazing. be said about it? Why don't we take uh, the advice from Bob Burnham and just shut the fuck up? Yeah, right. I'm gonna put that yeah. music down. That's our review. Uh, eight Sorry, out of ten. Sorry, the volume of the podcast. I might give it a nine. Nine? Okay, cool. Mm. Cool. Just so it's not overwhelming. <laughs> I missed out on this. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. It's yeah, like, I mean, it's review we've ever done. <laughs> have you seen any of Bo Burnham's other shit? Have you seen any I of saw his not that familiar. Grade. Fuck! I've seen Eighth Grade. Which eighth Grade I is not. Um, nah, yeah, it's not comparable. His directorial. Uh, his, no, I've seen a couple of his songs um, before, you know, and some of his stand up. He's, but yeah, he's never, got like, like deeply delved in. Two other Can I just like specials, right? quit the game? And basically, yeah. inside. There's that cheating. The combination of I don't his understand what I'm YouTube supposed to do. Content plus his I guess that would be cheating. Special, so right? it's like a very well produced. You could call it a film, although it was nominated for Emmys and it was considered a TV special. I guess just a stand up special. I guess I don't know. There was no. I haven't played audience, this in a week. It's like an experimental film where he just combines a bunch of like songs and together that are you know he mm -hmm. filmed by himself with like really creative lighting and blah 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 blah. Everybody yeah, should see it. I don't amazing. know. It's difficult to have a really lengthy conversation on without just like repeating the exact same ideas and themes that he's just explicitly stating in, yeah, in the project, you know, where it's like, yes, I agree, yeah, you know, it kind of. I'll just say it, it captures the like emotion and feel mm -hmm. of like twenty twenty and the lockdown and just what that means Fuck. and how everyone can relate to that. Yeah, it just captures that feeling really, really well. Yeah, it's a, ah! a very, um, a very special and unique little capsule. 
and I'm glad Fuck. it exists. Mm-hmm. So everybody check it out. Yeah, it's on Netflix. So. What um you we uh, I didn't see the next movie we're gonna talk. I about. don't. It's so, so sad I because I haven't played it. this in like a um, fucking week. Free guy, something I will. All right. So I'm supposed to be making putting markers here. Hold on. I'm Ralph from Ralph. And I'm out. <laughs> I really don't feel like it would be cheating if I fucking if I exited the game right now. I really don't feel like it would. I really don't feel like it would because I if I stayed with the entire game. No, because if I stayed with the entire game and played more of it instead of just four hours the other day, if I played the full eight, eight hours, I wouldn't have had to have gotten used to everything again. I don't feel like it would be cheating. No, go fuck yourself. I'm going to hopefully it doesn't just delete my save by the game crashing, I guess, you know. But yeah, I like I want to get used to the jumps again. Um I haven't touched this for a week and I'm fucking I'm like literally I know I I I I said thank you for the raid. Sorry. Unless there's a new raid, I don't understand what's happening. I'm sorry, I'm like multitasking. You can't lose your bet. I don't it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like I just Okay, well, I just want to get used to everything again. I'm like, oh, sorry. I was so zen last time. It's the complete opposite right now. Right, gee, and I, I actually got that one. because I know it's intended back. if I fall, but I feel like the falls were illegitimate because I haven't played this in a fucking week. All right. I have to address this from a couple episodes ago. Oh my god, yeah. did I accidentally? So in... Did you have, I gotta start from the marker. <laughs> was it in the M&M or some shit? Yeah. It was like really cringy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was like, you see that? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty funny. About freestyle that he did. What 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 yeah, more can amazing. be said about it? Why don't we take uh, the advice? Talk about Bob Burnham's insight at some point. There, there isn't go. really that much. This we'll never watch. Watch, please spoil the whole thing for me. <laughs> I wish this movie Quitting is intended. No way, because the only options here are save and exit or give up. And give up said like delete your save, right? Yeah, delete save. That's the only option for you. So, so I think it's I think the developers intended that you don't quit your way out of it because otherwise that's just the same as like a auto save feature, which it clearly doesn't give you. All right. Fuck up. Yeah. Um, nothing to spoil. <laughs> yeah. Right? Spo- which I don't have the timing down at all. There's, there's big spoilers here, Ruff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> the plot's very yeah dense. <laughs> Yeah, so Free Guy is the latest Ryan Reynolds vehicle. Um, <laughs> I guess it came out a while ago now, but people are still talking about it, of course. Uh, it's, it's really resonant, but it's, yeah, it's like a video game movie. It's the latest game, a Reddit movie, where <laughs> it's using a bunch of IP you know and just imagery you, you recognize to tell the most like cliche, generic, just corporate love story. That yeah. has no identity of its own, really no reason to exist. To be honest, like it's an action comedy where the comedy isn't funny and the action is just unbearable mm. to watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and lame. CGI and... heavy, uh, no tension. <laughs> oh, Ryan yeah, Reynolds yeah. No is terrible. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds yeah, it's is kind just of like, awful. <laughs> um, they live and Ready Player One smash together. Yeah, it reminded me of Ready Player One. I think it's a little bit better than that, just because it was more straightforward. Really, I think it's worse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And, and that's big for me because I can't stand Ready Player One. At two. Mm-hmm. I, I mm-hmm. really can't. But the 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 rules of the Ready Player One universe, as stupid as they are, they're more consistent, and I could at least understand that. Whereas the rules in Free Guy, I know it's like a comedy, so if it's funny to you, then this wouldn't matter. But it's just so uninterested in the whole gamer side yeah. of it, like. Uh, so many of the jokes are at the expense of its own audience, which I found so strange. It seems to have a lot of Shit. contempt for the idea of g- video games nope. and mm-hmm. I forgot. people who play them. Loads yeah, of jokes at it. the expense of like, it ca- I kept thinking of that that World of Warcraft South Park episode, which is actually a funny kind of commentary on that kind of stuff. But yeah, um, I don't think I'm uh, day, uh, comfortable not restarting here. The South Park were doing decades ago. But I think this is unfair. People who play games, it seems so obvious. Like, there's so many weird details, like 
for example, th there's a scene where they're kind of figuring out that the free guy himself is... He's like Either way, AI I'm trying to get like used to it again. I don't want to just... Guy, sorry. If yeah, I do I said, quit I back... The very first if, I, if I do quit back to it, I'm not... No, if I do restart it, I'm still not at the level that I was when I ended the last stream anyway, right? So I'm not going to... If I do restart it, I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to I'm still gaining myself back from a week ago. As I'm multitasking. Don't worry. We're covered. Yeah, he the Brian Reynolds is like an artificial intelligence that's learning. I know. And they keep kind of killing him. He's one of the random NPCs. He's OS1. He's like actually he's growing a conscious. He's growing consciousness. It reminded me of Lego Movie in that way. Oh yeah, he's finding out he's unique kind of in a very like oh um yeah the in a system the one that's what Lego Movie's about. Like Emmett's like oh he's the one he's unique yeah it it reminded me of Lego Movie like that yeah yeah the whole coffee gag and repeating oh fuck I forgot which way to go again and again it starts with like a Fortnite thing like a guy air dropping out of the sky it's Channing Tatum like you know because everyone plays Fortnite or like the audience for this movie so it has to start with them like dropping out of the sky it's like the same thing with the tomorrow war like come on what is yeah. what is every movie have to start with like an airdrop now <laughs> it's well, so pandering if, if the people who wrote this film are not a part of the video game demographic they would literally just look at sales numbers and be like this is a video game <laughs> let's incorporate this right yeah it's like if jimmy kimmel wrote a movie about video games i re really got hung up at a certain point though because i'd heard about some of the references that were in the movie but i've forgotten about this um, shit the in kind of the climax of the movie where ryan reynolds fights the strong version of himself it devolves into this celebration of marvel and star wars just out of nowhere Fuck. like okay. playing the music like he's swinging a lightsaber around and i was i was <laughs> blown away by that sequence because it just comes out of nowhere and the humor is rooted in nothing and then they like whip out like a portal gun and the half life gun. So, <laughs> so what? What like is this? Yeah. This is Fuck! the exact type of reference humor that has bothered me for like years now. But it's yeah. it's like that, but taken to the next extreme, where like at least in Ready Player One, there was some excuse for all those IPs to be there. I don't. Why is Star Wars and Marvel in this in the way it was? And Chris Evans like Disney shows owns it. Yeah, this and is this Disney is a owns 20th, 20th century, century studios, studios now. film, and I guess. When the merger or acquisition happened, perhaps they just kind of rewrote the ending. You never know. It seems yeah, I bet they tinkered with I, I mean, I, I'm making that assumption, is what I'm saying. Well, it, I would be surprised if that didn't marketing. happen. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Reynolds uploaded. I would be surprised. I mean, I, I'm making that assumption, is what I'm saying. I would be surprised if that didn't happen. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds uploaded to his YouTube channel um, just a, a video advertising Free Guy using Deadpool and Korg. Of course. Both of those actors are in the movie. So they're mm -hmm. relying on it already, acting as if... Like, the whole concept is that it's an NPC from a video game coming to life, so the whole thing is about video games. What does Marvel and Star Wars have to do with that? I get that's the how you sell life things. And Mega Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just because it, Disney owns it and they level. want to make people like references. Yeah, you're right. It is cynical because they just think people like references. Yeah, it's it. It was like almost an original IP or something, but they were like, nah. <laughs> it's just it just reminded <laughs> yeah. me that Disney owns the whole thing. They own basically every studio now. It just kind of creeped me out. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Like think of how many movies this year, just this summer, were Disney. Like even with the mergers and all that, it's this it's creepy. With them, like, that all the Marvel movie. movies, Jungle Book, like this, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, yeah. It's dystopian. Yeah. Yeah. Disney's just been out of control with it ever since that Wreck-It Ralph movie, which is <laughs> yeah. everything we make now is just going to shove in oh, all our IPs because everyone and it's just so loves often. It. It's like every other week with a Disney movie. In People did love it when that uh, yeah. Wreck-It Ralph did it. It's it. like yeah, you have you have the week with a Disney movie. In some form. Yeah. yeah. It's like every other week with a Disney movie. In some form. Yeah. yeah. But it's like yeah, you have you have the rights clearly to be able Fuck. to shove in this like Mega Man stuff and Half Life stuff. Why do you not make that part of the story or whatever? And and like it's so confusing because the game's clear or the, the world Shit. of free guys clearly like based on GTA online, right? 
but yeah. in the background, like vehicles from Halo are driving around. There's like a oh. scorpion and a mantis from Halo Four. Very cool. It's like mm -hmm. what? Why? <laughs> it's like the, the Easter eggs in the background are part of why people like the movie because it's it's weirdly critically well received like people like this movie it's got like a 7.6 on imdb right now really hot Fuck. here rotten tomatoes <laughs> yeah scores because it just rewards the most like generic Fuck. unchallenging stuff possible mm -hmm. and it's just very formulaic it's very yeah. bland metascore is 62 interesting that might be why it's a little more re well received than ready player one which i just thought was a mess this is everything you're saying alex you're correct it's just more of like a straightforward <laughs> family movie <laughs> So it didn't annoy me as much, you know? <laughs> also, people fucking love Ryan Reynolds. Like, they fucking Dude, I don't love it. him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Is that the thing? Because, like, it was so awkward when I was in the cinema watching this with, like, the British audiences. Like, there's a couple guys sniggering, but, man, it's, it people doesn't work. People love it? Ryan Reynolds, okay? <laughs> they fucking love him. So is that what is required to work? Is to have like a big audience that they're ready and already love Ryan Reynolds and they're just ready to laugh because it's him. Yeah, when's the last time Ryan Reynolds had a flop? He sells movies, right? Let's see. Green Lantern? That was a while ago. I don't know. Ever since Deadpool, though, he's been unstoppable. Yeah. But yeah, like Taika Waititi is in there. He plays a villainous character and I was <laughs> so disappointed by <laughs> him in the movie i found is the level of the joke writing i don't know how you felt about it ralph but it was it was one of the most irritating things to me it was yeah. just joke writing so lazy like early on in the movie where he he crashes into a wrecking ball and then they play the song wrecking ball and like, that's the joke mm -hmm. it's that level mm -hmm. of yeah comedy. it's really lame or even at the end, that sequence you're talking about with the Star Wars references, there's like mm -hmm. an alternate version of Ryan Reynolds who comes out called Dude. And the joke is just like, it's Ryan Reynolds, but he's big and he yells. And like, <laughs> it's just weird. It's it like, sounds it's not great. Funny. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, ah, okay. Did you notice that line early on too by the uh, guy from Stranger Things who's of course in it? Um, yeah, ugh. I actually thought he was okay. If there's one aspect of the movie, I liked him and I liked the girl, whoever she Fuck. was. <laughs> I thought they were fine together. It's just like okay. Ryan Reynolds was terrible. <laughs> like I just couldn't stand him. He was so annoying and not funny. But um, that Stranger Things kid had a funny line because he's like a coder in the game where he's like a indie developer who's been like engulfed by a big AAA Fuck. publisher type thing. So it's supposed to yeah. be a kind of commentary on that. It's but... just like it's just like Bandersnatch, like that Black Mirror episode was yeah, much better yeah. than that, right? <laughs> like much more. But he's interesting. describing um the game within whatever the, the game is that Ryan Reynolds exists in. And he and the, <laughs> he describes it by saying, it's popular, but so idiotic, it makes me cry. Like, that's the line he says. And it's mm -hmm. like just describing the movie. That's just how I feel about the movie. It's like popular, but so dumb and idiotic, it makes me cry. I, I, <laughs> there's nothing I like about it. I just, what is there to like about it? If you don't Fuck. like Ryan Reynolds and don't find it funny. Mm -hmm. hmm. Who would you say this is for? Just people who love Ryan Reynolds and that's it? Well, I would it's say gamers, but it, the, the film hates gamers. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Really? See, yeah. It, did, see, it doesn't gamers. seem like, like it's a movie for kids. Like, Ralph just said it's for kids, but no one's going to get mad. No one's going to get mad. And it's not because it's Ralph. It's because the movie isn't your name. <laughs> like, We're allowed to say it with other movies. We're allowed to say it with other movies. No one's going to give a shit if we say f free guy is for kids. But everybody gets mad when we say your name is for kids. Okay. We're not allowed to, we're not allowed to say it for that movie. All right, a fucking tween movie. <laughs> Come on. All right. Gamers. Yeah. Is it? Damn, really? Hey, kids. gamers, but it, it, the film hates gamers. Yeah. Is it? Really? Fuck. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't gamers. seem like, like it's a movie for gamers. Fortnite. I don't know. I think it's for like the Fortnite crowd. Why else crowd? would they be like? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Fortnite crowd, where yeah, it's just about the Children. collabs and the imagery of like, oh, who's in Fortnite this week? Oh, Master Chief's there. Oh, is, yeah, is it cool. It's the same thing. Is it mm -hmm. acceptable to say that this is for like? Yeah, I'm always I'm always gonna hold a bit of a grudge over people freaking out over your name. Adam, you can't say that. Chiefs there? Oh yeah, cool. It's the same thing. Is mm -hmm. it acceptable to say that this is for like tweens? This is just for like younger. Yeah. Because this is like okay. a PG thirteen yeah. movie. 
Deadpool's in it. I, I would say it's a like family movie too, yeah. as Ralph said. Like it, I guess it would be inoffensive if the reference stuff doesn't bother you and just the the formulaic nature of it. But like the Fortnite stuff is in the movie in that Marvel Star Wars scene after he's when he's holding the lightsaber, Fuck. it turns into that weird thing from Fortnite that. That horse thing. I've never really played it, so I don't know what the hell it's called, but it was from Fortnite, just straight up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that's what we're talking about at this Fuck! point. Like, it has Should no have been further over. Of its own, so it just uses IPs that already Fuck! exist while trying to have this message that games shouldn't be about like derivative, done to death kind of ideas. Oh, really? They have that message. In the it's yeah, so that's the message. Well, there's a yeah. bunch of messages going on that are so confusing. Oh, yeah. and An I mentioned this message. last time too. Yeah, there's a whole like there's a whole like gun control message in it where she's mm -hmm. like, well, in the real world, there's gun violence and we need to stop that. But it's like, where did this come from? Like in the movie, like that's not what this is about, is it? And there's just like a yeah. bunch of messages like that, like like female empowerment. It's just like everything just crammed into one movie, mm -hmm. and it doesn't and really at the make same sense. Time, <laughs> while railing on gamers and everything, and that everything the whole free guy thing represents, they pull in Jacksepticeye, Pokemon, a bunch of oh, YouTubers really? and Twitch streamers to do the whole. Oh my god, free guy, he's going viral in oh, the game. No. He's, he's <laughs> doing a it. Montage. it. It's, it's yeah. yeah, yeah. They show up multiple oh, times no. in the movie, and it it's embarrassing. That's great. Like, that sounds yeah. so Yeah, I, 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 was, I was shocked by kind of where it went, considering Fuck. how people are talking about this. So this is for babies, right? Like, why would you, <laughs> why would you put that in your movie? <laughs> it, it is very lame. I felt like an old man watching it. <laughs> yeah, right? no, I was, that's Fortnite, exactly how I felt. Jack I was like, am I just old now? <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I'm not that old. Ryan right? Reynolds. Like, yeah. like, this is not... <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah i was really blown away by how bad it was um and I, shit it's just the expectation thing because i looking at who directed it and who wrote it it was like the guy who wrote the terrible 2019 adam's family movie and scoob from 2020. There's, there's two writers one of the other writers wrote ready player one actually yeah that well, would be yeah, sean levy i guess Yeah. Ready Player One, actually. Yeah, that well, would be yeah, Sean Levy. Yeah. Two writers. One of the other writers wrote Ready Player One, actually. Yeah, that well, would be yeah, Sean Levy, I guess. Yeah, I. No, that would. Uh, yeah, the Ready Player One thing, too. Director Sean Levy. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, it's just. Oh. Yeah, Sean Levy, I guess. Yeah, I. No, that would. Uh, yeah, the Zach ready player one. Just making an edit here. Hold on, everybody. Yeah. Maybe, I guess. No, that would. Yes. No, that would. Uh... Multitask. Levy, I guess. No, that would. Uh... Multitasking. Just give me a second, everybody. You're going to have to wait to watch me jumping, okay? Everybody calm down. Calm down. I will get back to jumping. I am working at the same time. Levy, I guess. No, that would... Uh, Zach Penn. Penn. Director Sean Levy. Yeah. No, you're right. I think that fixes it. Writers, one, one of the other writers right. wrote Ready Player One, actually. Yeah, that well, there would be, you go. Yeah, I forgot where I was. Just, that was no, a that stupid would, jump. Uh, Zach Penn, director of Sean Levy. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, it's just, I'm just <sighs> hung up on the response to it. If it was a more mixed response, <sighs> as opposed to how ridiculously positive it is. Yeah, it, maybe it just went for that audience and the audience Fuck. liked it, you know? Fuck. And that's why I'm not as negative on it. <laughs> People Sorry, I was so was zen really yesterday, proud. and now I'm like so busy and stressed. This is what you wanted. Now the video is funny. That liked it, or maybe Ryan there's some, I don't know. Disney paid off the critics again. Maybe people <laughs> Who fucking knows? love Ryan Reynolds. But okay. I don't get it, because in this, if you just watch him in this movie, there's nothing about him that's it's his that aura, his presence. He's smiling, and he's pretend he's like the same guy as the Deadpool. 
so he's funny. I had all but the time in the world yesterday. Yeah. I mean, last I like week. That bull. Yeah, like that fool made that make shit jokes and say fuck. Like, this guy's just, there's nothing to it. And the action in Deadpool, fuck! way yeah. better. Fucking, I mean, I'm saying Emmett from the Lego movie is a more interesting character than, than like, the free oh, guy in this. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's just like, it's in like the a Lego movie, figure. Emmett, yeah, it makes sense with it being like a generic Lego figure. That's already a, a thing, and it just makes sense with the iconography yeah. of it. Oh, and at least it was original. That? Like, that's the first time I'd seen something mm -hmm. like that. But now it's like every movie does that shit. Every movie wants to be a Lego movie now. But yeah, yeah, and if you want to see something funny with this movie... Why would I... It, it's weird. If you read the positive reviews, they, they read, like, the negative reviews. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 it's bizarre. Yeah, like in the Rotten Tomatoes like summary for the movie, they actually call it. They describe it as frivolous. Fuck. Which to that me is like a yeah. You use that word when you're describing something that doesn't have much value <laughs> and yeah. isn't that great. But it's yeah. like a a really high rated movie on there this with a massively the high want. audience score. That's like when I read a positive review of The Bye Bye Man, and it's like, well, this movie's gonna make a lot of money for teenagers. <laughs> okay, that's not a good review of the movie. <laughs> the movie still sucks, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, listen to this. The, the critics' Fuck! consensus. Really? Combining a clever concept, sweet, self-aware humor, and a charming cast, Free Guy's frivolous fun. Hmm. I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, and there are so many, like, reviews praising the concept and everything, and... I guess. Do you like, think really? that there are people who review films and try to, like, project themselves onto, like, these hypothetical children that they imagine to be watching the movie, and they think, this is probably great if I was was a child, and they, it's, like, their idea of what a child is, and so they think <laughs> like that? Fuck! I think it's, like, <laughs> they, it's what their idea of a video game is. It's, like... It's uh, it's so it's so frustrating as so I, quite, I I'm quite interested in the video game industry and the way games are developed and just clearly the guys writing this didn't give a shit about that side of it. Yeah, it, it just makes no sense and they they spend too much time attempting to explain it for me to forget about it. So much of the dialogue is them just explaining the rules of like this stupid game and yeah. just establishing new even, things. It's not even well. consistent, really. No, you know, it doesn't matter at all. It. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a disaster. There's all this stuff in like the office, like, you know, the developers making the game. They're actually launching a sequel for some reason. Like, that whole plot line was so weird. Like, why do you need a sequel now? <laughs> but yeah, like, all that stuff is so boring. Like, them in an office talking about this shit. Like, get back to the stuff with. with Ryan Reynolds, at least, like that's the stuff at least families like. Two hour long <laughs> this is movie. like an example of a uh, of a sequence from this movie. Uh, Ryan Reynolds finds out that he's only level one, so he has to do a montage where he grinds XP to get to level one hundred, and that's like a sequence in the movie. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just so bad. It's so uninteresting, so stupid and corny. Yeah, I just got nothing out of it. Why'd you mm -hmm. watch it? Absolutely. Um, I was curious because I figured <laughs> if people responding this way, this this positively to something that looks this bad, maybe maybe there's something more to it, you know? Like no. if, I thought the trailers <laughs> for the newest Suicide Squad weren't great, uh, you know, but it was a good movie in the end. The trailers can lie, but no, nah, no, nah, it was actually worse mm -hmm. um, than I thought. No, yeah, Fuck. I I I don't uh, <laughs> I don't look at things that way when I. If I see like a 7.6 IMDb user rating and a 62 Metascore, like that spells disaster for me. For a movie with Ryan Reynolds in it that had a trailer like that, I'm like, yeah, I know exactly <laughs> what this is. Like this is just gonna be yeah, something. Plus, weren't that, they like, trying to release this movie like, for like understand. years? I feel like I've been. Okay, that should have been not edited that way. What the fuck? Sorry. Uh. Can make it so that Ralph starts his sentence after instead of during. Second here, sorry. Like, this is just going to be something that, like, a lot of people liked and I don't understand. Yeah, plus, weren't they trying to release... Perfect. ...like that? ...that had a trailer like that? I'm like, yeah, I know exactly <laughs> what this is. Like, this is just going to be something that, like, a lot of people liked and I don't understand. Yeah, plus, weren't they trying to release this movie for, like, years? 
I feel like I've been seeing trailers for this movie for like two years now. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've been reading about it forever. Could have been edited better. Hold on. I feel like trailers for this movie for like two years now. <laughs> I think we can make it so that his laugh. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. I feel like I've been seeing trailers for this movie for like two years now. <laughs> yeah, I feel like. this movie for like two years yeah now. i feel like i've been seeing trailers for this movie for like two years now <laughs> yeah i feel like i've been reading about it for forever yeah, yeah. Like i feel like i've been like years i feel like i've been seeing trailers for release this movie for like years I feel like I've been seeing trailers for this movie for like two years now. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've been reading about it for forever. Yeah, now Just that it's finally those. here, it's like, eh, okay. And did how did you find the pace of it? Because oh my god, it's it, pretty it's, it's slow. Excruciating. Yeah, After especially about an hour in the beginning. Once, like, once, is it named Joe Keery and the girl? Like, once they came in, I actually enjoyed the movie just fine. Like, whenever it was focused on them, I thought the pacing was fine. It was, it was just the shit with Ryan Reynolds and, like, I don't know, the stuff in the office. Like, whenever it was in the office, the this, this stuff with Joe Keery in the office sucked. Um, mm -hmm. And Taika Waititi, like, that was all bad. Like, you know, I don't know why that needed to be in the movie at all. <laughs> yeah. It's just... Fuck! It's just so inoffensive and lazy. It's the laziness. It's like it doesn't even try. Yeah, like imagine the Lego movie if they kept cutting to like the Wolf Ferrell part, you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's spoiled. Yeah. yeah. It, it would be lame. Yeah, there's no like surprises Fuck. really, or it doesn't really build to anything. And you're right about the tension, like every action scene, they're invincible and he's just so capable in every way. I just don't get why I would care yeah. about any of it. Yeah. Unless you and, you know, funny, even if he's not don't. capable, the, the girl character's capable. Like, she's an ultimate badass. Like, she could do anything. Mm -hmm. So there's, like, no tension throughout the whole thing. It's just like, yeah, you know, if you like the jokes, Fuck. that's fine. I think that's what people connect with. But I think the jokes like, are kind of uh, lame. One thing that really illuminated how kind of cynical and how much Disney meddling has probably been going on with it is Fuck. one of the main pieces of music they use Fuck. for the kind of romance emotional scenes is reused music from a disney short from like 2012 or 2011 called paper man or something okay um, which i only just happened to recognize because i used to listen to the piece of music from that short back when it came out and it's like a weird like remix version of that just plugged in for the emotional beats it's just like oh so mm -hmm. all of this is just jimmied together with like disney duct tape i guess yeah, <laughs> and it that's kind of how it felt. Like, just shoved the formula in. Disney loves this movie. They want a sequel. <laughs> it's exactly what they like. Inoffensive, bland. And it's just, it's just so frustrating. Like, you set up a world with no rules, which is, like, it could be fun. When you have no rules and you can do anything, you can do anything. But they do the most mm -hmm. boring thing they can think of. Well, Man. Yeah, like the Lego movie. Even just the look of that. Man. boring thing they can think of well yeah like the lego movie the most mm -hmm. boring mm -hmm. boring thing they can th think of well yeah like the lego movie even just just the look, look of that movie is like creative and this is just like the most mm -hmm. boring thing they can think of well yeah like the lego movie even just the look of that movie is like creative this is just like very bland yeah. looking but then the action scenes in that movie too it's so so embracing mm -hmm. the concept and taking it mm -hmm. to its extreme Fuck. I just also didn't you think it was like... weird whenever so whenever you're in the video game brian reynolds looks like a live action guy but whenever it would yeah. cut to like outside of the video game like someone watching it through a tv ryan reynolds would mm -hmm. be cgi slightly but it would be yeah. like ultra realistic cgi like it almost looks real but not quite it's like this so, uncanny yeah. valley like it's so distracting <laughs> like, it was like why in did they between... do that <laughs> yeah Fuck. yeah in ready player it's one constant. they did like the opposite didn't they it's like yeah. fully when they're CG in the game they're, they play like characters the yeah 
yeah but at least yeah. it's consistent right i don't know yeah i don't know if that was a budgetary thing decisions. or they didn't want it to be like half animated or it does make it confusing <laughs> they could have just cut to ryan reynolds like normal you know <laughs> it was just weird yeah it was a weird thing i noticed i don't know why that was necessary and ryan reynolds has that thing uh the rock has where it's just everyone all the dialogue is just people complimenting him all the time about how awesome he is and how funny he is. Yeah, how... like, oh, he's so he's the handsome. Best. There was a ton of that. He's so mm -hmm. funny. He's so handsome. Shut up. Like, who fucking it's cares? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Honestly. If you repeat a lie often enough, it becomes the truth. <laughs> yeah. That's right. So you were mentioning how yeah. the Rotten Tomatoes reviews were as if they <laughs> yeah. were describing the negative attributes of the film or like Fuck. criticizing it but they were really yeah, yeah. positive i'm on the uh user reviews from imdb and there's a, a few top rated ones i'd just like to <laughs> share the rating and the title of the <laughs> reviews for, for some of these eight out of ten how likable is ryan reynolds and then there's like a short paragraph about just how much they like ryan reynolds and not talking about the movie <laughs> there's another one eight out of ten fun movie full of references Oh, <laughs> but, but here's the full review. It's a Do good I like fun this movie. game. I love Humor it. Humor is good. Lots of references to other movies and games. Why? Plot wise, nothing special, but it's not why you watch this movie. Good fun. Like it. Thanks, Ryan Reynolds. Smiley face. Oh. Fuck. And I just want. I just want to yeah. be clear to people. I don't care if you love something. I don't. I don't care what you rate a film. But I might make fun of you if you justify it poorly. If I if if I read your review and I don't understand oh, yeah. by the end of it why you actually liked it, then that's that's where I'm gonna make fun of you. I don't care if you like it. Well, yeah, the the recurring themes are it's good because it's full of references to things that aren't the movie yeah. that you already recognize, mm -hmm. and the the story's like not anything. Yeah, the the common sentiment among these top rated IMDb user reviews are. Ryan Reynolds references, and then a bunch of people saying, "Feel good and escapism from COVID." So I think that that's also a big reason. <laughs> oh fuck! They're like, I hate like that the one. The first time where I can remember that there are movies that have Ryan Reynolds in it, and I can go to a popcorn place and go, "Haha, that mm -hmm. is a reference to something." Maybe people aren't looking for something challenging now, and that's what the reviews. They never have been, and there's because... nothing wrong with that. But... <laughs> you know what? You're absolutely right. Even yeah. when the world's perfect, they don't want anything yeah, challenging. Yeah, it's it's, this isn't a new thing. I, I I'm looking for a different kind of movie, which is why I didn't watch this, and I never will. And I could yes. tell exactly what it was. Yes. And I... I just tried to put myself in the shoes of the audience here, and like, yeah, it's okay. It's yeah. it's dumb fun. Fuck. Like, if you shut your brain off, okay. But like. A lot of these people, they just shut their brain off permanently. There's nothing going on in this movie. Mm -hmm. It's very lame. The, the jokes aren't funny. At the same time, it's not as bad as Ready Player One. I just got to... Hmm. I feel pretty okay. solid on that. Really? <laughs> I feel pretty good on that, yeah. yeah it's just less messy. It's just not a mess. It's just lame. Really? Uh, That's how I feel. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of feel like they're both a mess and they're both lame. But Free Guys, just a little bit lamer. Because... Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least, at least, Ready Player One had like the Spielberg direction and some memorable scene. Like, what's a good scene from Free Guy? I was, I was really sure. trying to think about sure. this. Like, but then people like, say like the Shining <sighs> scene from Ready Player you. One. Like, yeah, I like the Shining, but it's, it's just a reference again. It's the same problem, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just a reference you know, to the thing you already know. It's just all the references. CG yeah. monsters Fuck. running around instead. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I guess Player I'm just discouraged by like <laughs> when we're talking about the Space Jam new legacy. And it was that's a good comparison. Best. More recent too. Yeah, yeah. It was. Like, it was I, I dislike that, that movie more. Uh huh. It was. Uh -huh. It was destroyed. It was raked over the coals for that. But mm -hmm. Free Guy just is celebrated for it. I guess that's what I'm confused on. Like why? why you know, is, you're right. Is it, is it yeah. simply because of Ryan Reynolds? I, I don't understand. Mm -hmm. People Please, love Free Guy fans, fill me in. Ryan Reynolds. Fuck. Okay. Sure. If he wasn't in the movie, would it have been successful? I don't think so. Who else are you going to put? Mm -hmm. If it was The Rock, either The Rock or Ryan Reynolds. I think Fuck. they're starring in a movie together actually soon with uh, fucking Wonder Woman. They are with uh, Wonder Woman too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's going to be a mm -hmm. hit just because of the cast, you know? Actually, it's going to mm -hmm. go straight to Netflix, isn't it? It's going to be one of those ones where we can't even tell. Yeah, it is. You know, yeah, you're right, Alex, because even the aged references in Space Jam, like the Matrix and like even just the Looney Tunes, like being outdated, there's outdated references in Free Guy. Like, mm -hmm. even if it's just by a few months, like Fortnite's already kind of irrelevant. <laughs> like, you know, it's just like tons of things like that. It's like a bunch of video game references that 
this isn't South Park. They didn't write it last week. It's probably been written over yeah. years, and it's just like lame yeah. at this point. It's so surface level. Yeah. There's no commentary to it, really. Yeah, and so many video game movies are being made and are in development, and they've already got such a bad track record. So it's just another one for the pile. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, damn it. And it's like the video game industry, it makes way more money than, and it's probably more influential at this point than the film industry. Like, yeah. it's huge. It's shocking that it's taking this long for the for video game stuff to actually seep fuck into you, any kind God of, like, narratives that are worth something. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's sad stuff. Yeah, it is sad stuff. I wish there was a little more of an edge to it, like Deadpool. I think I would have liked it more. If it had been funny, I think that's all I was looking for, you know? Yeah, that's all if I'm looking just for. Funny. Make the comedy yeah. funny and the action yeah. at least entertaining. It doesn't even need to rely on references. Like, just make good jokes. Mm -hmm. Right, I, I've seen these people be funny before. You can make reference humor funny, is the thing. Like, uh -huh. like in that Bo Burnham inside, there's like plenty of references, but it's like building into a joke and conjuring imagery so a setup like works. Sure. Fuck so you! That's what like jokes are. Like that's what it's all about. And like the wrecking ball joke and just him saying like fuck to a goldfish and stuff. Like that's that's not what like movies are about to me. Like like comedy is <laughs> like it's. It's like hard and times are changing, old man. <laughs> this is what comedy <laughs> man. It's like hard and it's like hard and times are changing, old man. Hard and It's like hard. Times are changing. <laughs> like, like comedy is like it's. It's like hard. Times are changing, old man. It's like hard. Times are changing, old man. Uh. Like movies are about to me. Like, like comedy is <laughs> like it's. It's like hard. Times are changing, old man. That's fine. All right. This is what stuff. Like, that's 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 not what like movies are about to me. Like, like comedy is <laughs> like it's. It's like hard. Times are changing, old man. <laughs> this is what comedy is now. <laughs> yeah, it's just get with uh -huh, it. Well, it's like it's the joke like is that it's just Ryan Reynolds <laughs> saying it. Like that's the joke. Yeah. yeah. It's just because yeah. it's Ryan Reynolds just saying a line that if anyone else can adapt, you gotta change your channel, okay? You gotta if you wanna yeah, start making funny it. videos for YouTube, you gotta start getting with what humor is now. <laughs> God damn. So you're not going to check this one out then, Adam? I'm never going to watch this movie. If we all just switch to Fortnite Let's Plays tomorrow, we would make way more money. Why the fuck would I ever watch this <laughs> movie? You know I wouldn't Why like not? it. Why not? No, it would be... Ralph sounds louder now. We're going to fix that. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Funny videos for YouTube. you got to start getting with what humor is now. God damn. So you're not going to check this one out then, Adam? I'm never going to watch this movie. If we all just switch to Fortnite Let's Plays tomorrow, we would make way more money. Why the fuck would I ever watch this <laughs> movie? Saying. You know I wouldn't Why like not? it. Why not? No, it would be torture. <laughs> I know exactly what it is from the trailer. Fuck. <laughs> you guys are reaffirming this for me. Yeah, I guess I'm just fascinated by just how low this can go, because it's it's crazy ever since that wreck it ralph movie i swear like this disney outfit and these, these, yeah. these i hate Netflix that i haven't movies, even got like... i haven't even gotten to the point where i'm able to learn something new i haven't gotten to the point where i'm like able to learn anything and i understand that this is like a part of the frustration of the game but i'm pissed off that i've lost my i've lost my mojo quote austin powers the spy who shagged me um so, yeah, that's really frustrating. Who wants a free digital copy of The Thing? Grab it right now. Here you go. Screen cap this shit.
Okay. Who wants it? Take it. What does it what does it say? Can you figure it out? Focus. There it is. All right. I've I've been cleaning my room. Who wants a fucking Pokemon Pokemon card online something? There's one. There's one. There's all this shit that I just like cleaning my room. It doesn't say that it has an expiration date, so take it. Take it. Take it. All right, we're going back to the game for a bit. All right. <sighs> It, it wasn't like an issue in this way a few decades ago. It's, it's, it's funny because like I never saw that Wreck-It Ralph movie. So it's it's funny that that's like the initial incident for you because I, I don't have that connection with it because I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. But a funny uh, yeah, yeah. pinpoint, I guess, on the timeline. Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> Wreck-It Ralph 2. <laughs> yeah, I don't have much else to say. Just please, if you're a Free Guy fan, explain um, your side so I can try to understand. But I don't think I'll ever... I've had people Ever try to explain to me. They basically say they thought it was funny. Yeah. That I can understand, yeah. I guess. It's if just you find Ryan name. Reynolds funny. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they find Ryan Reynolds funny or just like the general, just the video game. Like the references. The oh, it's Fortnite. Maybe, oh, it's... Know. Yeah. Like, oh, it's like GTA Online. I play GTA Online with my friends. Or like the way Channing Tatum acts. Like, oh, that's how I talk to my friends when I'm in my garage in GTA Online. Like, yeah. that's what it seemed like. Of, like. Like that whole scene with Channing away. Tatum. That was just like, okay, so they're in GTA Online in their garage, like, just talking. Like, it's mm. just the same shit. Like, fuck! Okay. And that whole joke with him was that, like, in the game, he's hot Channing Tatum, but out, he's like a lame loser because he plays video <laughs> games and he's really good at them. Yeah, so that's kind off. of one. It's condescending, like you said, and then it's just like the South Park joke where the guy who's like the head of the World of Warcraft, yeah, like yeah. the top player, is like a fat guy, like, and mm -hmm. that was funny. Yeah, yeah that was hilarious. And that was ten day. years ago, <laughs> whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they yeah. actually play games and actually understand uh -huh. like the way it works. But yeah, yeah, that's actual comedy. Yeah. Yeah, this this to me is ah! like, just a half star. I like nothing about Fuck it. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. Fuck this film. I'm gonna go two and a half because I understand the appeal. It's not as good as it could be, mm -hmm. and that's me being really lenient. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, fair enough. What rating did you give your name? Did you give what was that? Did I give it less? Probably. I don't remember. That being fair, but, uh, I mean, I don't like anime, yeah. so <laughs> I like video <laughs> games more than anime. <laughs> I'm never gonna watch this film. I think I, I am correct in avoiding it. It is not up my alley. Mm -hmm. If you like it, that is totally fine. <laughs> uh, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> it's a fairly accurate review for someone who hasn't seen it. I say, play, go different play a video folks, game instead. Strokes. Like, go play, go play anything. Go play Max Payne. Yeah. That's what I was just playing. Yeah, because that, that, that's the last thing I'll say is the. Like the the great idea of the indie devs is that they make a game where there's no like violence, and that's like the brilliant Fuck you! dollar idea that everyone connects with at the end. And it's like what? Like there are <laughs> video games that aren't violent, you know? Like, mm -hmm. like what are you talking Minecraft. about? The whole messaging, yeah. Like Minecraft's one of the biggest games in in the world. It's violent. Mm -hmm. okay. Number one. I guess you punch pigs or whatever. Well, you can swing a sword at people, but you know it's not Max yeah. Payne. <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Peg. Uh, that's free guy. Sorry, Pig fans guy. of free guy. I don't. I want to disappoint you. Yeah. The I I don't know if the but that here's the thing. I don't know if the fans of free guy are like so passionate about it that they would get offended if we say it's like dumb <laughs> you know <laughs> i don't i don't know if yeah. anybody attaches their identity to free guy like some other films we've talked about so i think <laughs> we're safe know. i don't know we'll see yeah, yeah we'll I see i call it white guy that's my name for it <laughs> <Right>. white guy <laughs> we saw uh, yeah, okay, pig starring nicholas cage and apparently also Alex Wolf, who I didn't recognize until like the end of the movie. Oh yeah, oh, Alex really Wolf. He was actually him. good in it. Yeah. Um 
did you guys take Nicolas Cage seriously at all? I just want to start with this. Like, <laughs> can you take this guy seriously? Moderately. At all at this there's, point in his there's career? like, a, it, it's a yes and no. One Fuck of my you. many mm -hmm. yes and no answers. Yeah. Spoilers for Pig, everybody. Even Depends with all the stuff, like aside from just like the acting performances, like Ghost Rider, like I don't know, Bad Lieutenant, all that. Like the, him buying an island, him buying like. I don't know, ancient skeleton. tombs or whatever. <laughs> like T Rex skulls. Yeah. Like it's just <laughs> not like getting married and then getting divorced like a day later. Like all this shit. Like he, the Vegas, like gambling. I don't know what he does. Um, but like I, I have a hard time taking the guy seriously. That's that's maybe why I wasn't as invested in this movie. Okay. Especially like on a first viewing. Because mm -hmm. I, I see him as a joke. Like he it's hard is. not to. There's <laughs> there's nothing it's wrong hard with not feeling to. that mm -hmm. way. Because he is he's like a B movie star. I had right that now. browser extension for a while where Nicolas Cage is like on every photo in your browser. Oh, that's like, great. Just fun. <laughs> yeah. But that being said, like once I was more invested in the movie, I guess, in the drama and the story, it's it's a fine movie. And I liked it a bit more, like watching it a second time. Oh, you saw it. Fuck! Uh, I think I was a little too hard on it. The I knew first I didn't time. walk yeah. out far enough. Okay. And I think it's mainly okay. just Nicolas Cage. Like it's just it's hard for me to take him seriously at this point in his career, mm -hmm. and I don't even know how I can be blamed for that, right? Like, because all what the, the shit fuck that he's done. I don't know why that one. Didn't he's happen. a meme. He's done yeah. some good but... stuff in the past. Yeah, I mean, he's a good actor in some ways, but uh, and in this movie, I actually think he was good in some ways. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, I think that's what. Why didn't that work? Because right? I was they, too they far out. That's Cage never happened. Really gave a good performance here. It's not like Willy's Wonderland kind of schlock. He actually tried. I'll do it from this yeah. way. I can I can commend that definitely. I think sure. he always actually that's tries. not the one I fucked up on. I don't think there's a single film where he doesn't try. Just because it doesn't necessarily show in the final product doesn't mean he doesn't try. I think he always tries. You can never say Nicolas Cage yeah. did not put an effort into it. I think that the okay. problem with something like Willy's Wonderland is that he was instructed to be reserved, right? Which is not what ah, Nicolas Cage yeah. should be. Willy's Wonderland, he had like no yeah. dialogue, right? So I, I don't think it's because he yeah. didn't try. I really, I really like Mandy because he has a scene in that where mm -hmm. he just freaks out. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. Nicolas Cage. Like that's great. Yeah, like Even if, whether it's funny or not, it's actually interesting. Yeah, um, that's his talent. <laughs> there's a shade of that here, right? Yeah, I, I wasn't expecting it to be. Um... I guess minor spoilers. It's Spoil kind of the whole like thing. John Wick, John Wick with a pig instead of a dog, and with mm -hmm. like a chef backstory instead of an assassin backstory. Um, and the way it plays out is interesting. I was just, I probably enjoyed it most when it was more contained to his natural habitat, and I thought it was going to delve more into the. There's like a funny old lady character who's got a lot of personality, but she's only in it very briefly and. I was, it was kind of losing me a bit in that middle chunk there where it was going into the whole sh like secret backstory of him being a chef once upon a time and uh, yeah it was it was okay I, it was all right but I mean I saw it a few weeks ago now and I fuck you obviously haven't thought about it since fuck it you just a, a, a solid drama to me with yeah. a very nice little ending that's how I felt I had a very strong reaction when it came out which is why I was kind of mm. confused when I first saw it I didn't have a strong reaction. Yeah, people really love this movie. They think it's like one of the best movies of the year. Yeah, I, I, I'd be interested in seeing it a second time for sure. I feel like I might like it more. Because yeah. I thought I thought the marketing was Maybe. a little deceptive. Um, I was expecting mm -hmm. something a little oh, bit really? different. Mm -hmm. um, you are right. It's like that genre. Mm -hmm. Something mm -hmm. a little oh, bit really? different. You are right. It's like that something a little oh, bit yeah. different you are right it's like that john wick kind of thing yeah or like nobody um it's a little more like uh the character's more pathetic like he's older you know not as a mm. much of a badass i, I kind of like that angle mm -hmm. kind of you got a sense like there's something wrong with him kind of yeah he's like hidden himself away from everything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Away fuck from you yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah like a very flawed character yeah i could see why yeah it was interesting it was, yeah. the character was it interesting. adds to the Mystique. Fuck! Also, mm -hmm. you know, it makes him a bit more interesting. I thought that, uh, I, I don't know, I wouldn't say Alex Wolf was great in it, because even when I didn't recognize him, so I know that this isn't like my bias, when I didn't recognize him, I thought that he stood out as being worse <laughs> than <laughs> Nick Cage. <laughs> Just my opinion, <laughs> but uh, I was like, man, they could. I guess they could only afford like one good name Fuck actor yeah. in this movie you know and everybody else is just a random person who's i assumed that it was like their first role but it turns out that that's just 
every time Alex Wolf acts in something, it's like it is his first role for me anyway. So. Oh! Completely and ironically, I I can't even. I, it's not even a bias. I didn't even know it was him. I was like, this guy is not great, you know. <laughs> he's like, I know for sure because he's in the Naked Brothers band. That's right, from Nickelodeon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fucking yeah. child acting <sighs> careers. Right, but, but like he has a career just because he was in a Nickelodeon show. I you know. know. Even if he's not. That and he was great. probably in but a Nickelodeon actually, show because of like nepotism or some shit. <laughs> Yeah, that's something right. where Ralph should have been muted because he doesn't even finish his sentence. He says he was in a Nickelodeon show. You I know. know. Even if he's not that And he was great. probably in a Nickelodeon show because of, like, nepotism or some shit, you know? like Because, <laughs> like, Dan Schneider's a weirdo or whatever. Yeah. But I actually really liked him in this movie, and I really liked him in Hereditary. I thought in both those movies he gave... He was, like, really good. Ugh! Yeah, I thought he was excellent in Hereditary. Ugh! I just mm -hmm. can't get over... The one scene in her, he works well for like every part of it until he, until he's required to show real emotion and cry. And then in that scene, it's like he's mocking someone crying. Yeah, I, I can't. I, yeah, that works for me. I, I love it. the movie. I love the movie, but like he takes away, he takes away from like the experience. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me. the movie. I feel so sorry for like everyone in that movie. It's so oh, yeah. miserable. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I, in yeah, the context, yeah. it, he doesn't ruin yeah. the movie. It's just it could be better. No, no. Yeah. Well, yeah, Tony Collette, I mean, is amazing in that. Oh, of course. For sure. <laughs> like, acting against her, right? Mm -hmm. It's like him acting against Nick Cage in this. Yeah. It's no, uh, it's not quite like Paul Dano or Daniel Day Lewis and There Will Be Blood mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or um, <laughs> The Lighthouse, those two. Yeah. I mean, especially now that we're comparing it to these other films, Fuck you! Like all the ones we just mentioned, uh, oh. I would mm -hmm. say the one thing that's really missing from Pig is like some solid, like, cinematography. Like, the look of the film. Is really oh my god kind of irrelevant almost you know mm -hmm. like sure they yeah, there are man. intentional color grading choices obviously but in terms of like framing and you know just like the length of each shot and <sighs> it, it it didn't really seem like so much of a voice to me it just kind of felt like oh yeah some director filmed yeah. it and we don't and, and any director sort of thing you know very kind of bland yeah, yeah. to mention another movie the Green Knight. You know, that's kind of yeah. a very different movie. Fuck, like I held it too long on accident. Mm -hmm. I still remember and I also said on accident yeah, by movie. accident. Kind of Fuck, and then I jumped wrong. Yeah. Exactly. I saw I saw both uh, The Green Knight and Pig in the same day. And it was like oh, interesting. the yin and yang or whatever of like. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back.